Hello everyone, I am Pepe and welcome to the second of the Nix video series. In the previous video, we talked about Nix in general, we introduced Nixemp and we see we saw a bit uh, about Nix shell, how can we create new shells with new packages, right? And in this video, we'll continue down that journey. So in this video, what we'll talk about is channels and packet and home manager. So channels you can see here in the nixos.org documentation are a way of um, handling sets of packages, sets of so-called Nix expressions. So um, the, the, the main uh, channel for Nix is Nix packages, right? Nix uh, PKGS. Um, so that, uh, that channel uh, contains all the main packages from the Nix community, right? And it is, it's handled in the Nix packages GitHub repository. Let me show it to you. So here in this, uh, in this repository, the community curates all the packages and creates new packages as soon as they are, they are uh, created somewhere else. They, they create the Nix expressions for these packages to work on Nix environments. So uh, Nix packages is, is one of the channels that, that you may use. It's the one installed by default when you install Nix, but there are others. So for example, Home Manager that we'll introduce later in this video uses its own, it uses its own channel. Um, for example, there are companies that publish their own sets of packages, sets of open source packages, uh, for, such as, for example, um, Mozilla does that with Rust, right? So they use their own channel for their Rust expressions. Um, IOHK does that for Haskell packages, right? So there are different, um, there are different um, channels and one can create one if they want to share their own set of, of, of packages or you can use the main ones, right? But in the end, what channels do is that they contain a bunch of Nix expressions that you can uh, download uh, packages from, right? So now that we know uh, a bit about Nix channels, right? Uh, let's see how can we handle them. So the idea is that once again, this is uh, another binary that we'll need to use called Nix channel, right? So with Nix channel, you'll be able to Add, remove, and update cha and update channels in your in your Nix system. So it will work either for Nixus if, you, if you're running Nixus, or it will work as well if you're running Nix on your Mac, for example. Um, so uh, the add and remove um, add and remove um, sub commands are uh, self-explanatory, I think. The interesting one is update, in my opinion. So with uh, Nix channel update, what you'll do is that um, Nix, you'll make Nix download all Nix expressions from the from the from that particular channel, right? So for example, if you are following Nix packages unstable, uh, right, which is updated regularly, uh, you can download the latest the latest Nix expressions if you do uh, Nix channel update. So that later on, would you search for a new expression with uh, Nix search or Nix QA? Um, you'll find the latest, uh, the latest, the latest expression, sir. Right. So that's how you handle Nix channels, right? Now let's see how can we use channels to install Home Manager, right? Um, first of all, what's Home Manager? So if you're a developer or if you're uh, uh, an advanced user of your of your machine, uh, I'm sure that you have uh, the problem of installing all your your needed tools. In different ways, right? So, for example, um, you install I don't know the the binaries that you need for work. You install them directly from the shell script, and you place in in your bin uh, directory. Um, the applications in Mac you install them with brew. The different services you create shell scripts that start on your uh, system startup, right? So that's a bit of a pain in the back. So what Home Manager tries to do is that um, it, it gives you a way for handling all this stuff using Nix directly. And it is very cool. We'll see some examples of it. So uh, the way of installing Home Manager is that we'll need to, once again, copy and paste some commands in the terminal. Um, so uh, since we installed uh, in, the la in the latest video, we installed Nix. Now we will install Home Manager, right? So uh, we can start copying uh, this um, command and pasting it on our table. Let me give it a little more size to this thing here. Okay, so we can copy and paste these commands. I already have, but you'll need to copy the addition of the new channel. 
Then you need to update your channels with Nick channel dash update. Right. And finally, what you need to do is to run this command that will actually install home manager. So we copy that, right? Once you run all these commands, uh, you'll have home manager installed. Um, so once you install home manager, you'll have the home manager binary working in your computer. So if you do home manager, it will return something like this. Um, and the way you interact with home manager is via the home.nix file, right? So we'll start seeing a bit about the Nix language. So if we go to, um, uh, to our home manager directory, which by default lives in that config slash nix packages, right? Okay, so I was already there. I'm in, in uh, config uh, dash nix packages. We can see here the pwd. So here, home manager will create a home.nix file. So um, let's see what, what does it contain. So by default, let me remove the comments because I don't either have any syntax aligning here. Uh, by default, Home Manager creates a very simple uh, home.nix file that contains this, right? In my case, I am Pepe. So <laughs> it contains my username Pepe, my home directory, the state version, and, um, and it asks in this line right here, it asks Home Manager to handle itself. But we can add new packages to Home Manager, right? And we can do that by, let me show you here in the, in the, so this is Home Manager's GitHub repository. And here you have a small example of what you can do to, to, to install new packages. So we can add new elements to the home.packages attribute. So what I'll do is do exactly that. So home.packages, right, is a list, right? So lists in mixed language are delimited by uh, square brackets, such as in, um, I don't know, in Python or JavaScript or something. Um, so let's say that I want to install, once again, Kauste, right? Such as in the last video. So what I need to do is to uh, add that to the, to the list here. So I can do packages dot Kauste, right? So let me remove that. Okay, and by the way, let's confirm that I don't already have Kausa installed. And I don't. Cool. So now that I have modified um, my home.nix and I have added Kausa to the list of home packages, right? Let's um, create a new generation of home manager, right? So creating a new generation of home manager um, is basically telling home manager that it should build the home.nix file and install all the packages and do all the changes that we've expressed there. And once it does, it once again switches some symlinks and we have everything installed. So something very some, something else that's very cool about uh, generations in home manager is that we can go uh, uh, back in time, for example, if we broke something with one of our latest changes, we can go back to previous generations to see uh, the last point where it worked, right? So the same way that you would do that with a Git, for example, that you would do a Git bisect, you could do this binary search if you wanted to see uh, where that um, where that something broke up. So uh, let's make Home Manager create a new generation, right? We did that with Home manager space switch switch as in build uh, the new generation and switch to it so as you can see um it's a fairly uh fast process and now i can say how say uh hello from home manager right there you go. So the cool thing about Home Manager is that uh, you can set up in this home.nix, you can set up your, your base environment for your home, right? So everything that you normally use, uh, let's say you are a Rust developer. So you'll need cargo, you'll need Rust up, you'll need 
git of course you'll need vim or you or emacs i don't want to get into that word um so everything you can set up here right so for example let's say uh let's say that i also want to add what else packages that um for example uh emacs right let's say that i want to install emacs as well so i can home manager switch again and you can see right here that is installing emacs 27.2 apart from uh some of the dependencies that emacs may have right such as you know tls uh pango objective c4 something 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 right um also something else that we can talk about here is that as you can see it's not building everything right so what um home manager is doing and well under the hood what nix is doing is downloading stuff from cache.nixos.org right so something very interesting about nix is that we talked about it already is that it's a purely functional package manager and um uh given the properties of peer functions um what we can do or what nix provides is a way of caching dependencies much easier right so on a large scale you can do that with uh, something like Bazel or or back or something but with nix it's very easy to set up a cache right and what is happening is that i'm downloading the binaries here directly from cache.nixos.org and i don't need to build everything on my computer which makes downloading or, or switching and installing dependencies much easier and a much lighter process so here you can see that we installed uh emacs 27.2 so if i do go emacs emacs oh my here we have emacs installed so that's all for uh, today's video. I hope you liked it and stay tuned for next videos. Thank you very much.